So if you want to become a creator, but you don't know where to start, this is from Monique Harbaugh. She asked a few really good questions. Mm. This is a great one. I get okay. it all the time. What do you do if you don't, well, you don't know where to start? What do you do? Yeah. I, my first thing is you got to analyze passions. Okay. So let's, let's use a hypothetical. I like to rock climb. Okay. How can I create content around my passion of rock climbing? We've just, dis- we've discovered we have this passion. Then I think what we do is we go look at other rock climbing creators. Cause we got to generate a little bit of inspiration. Yeah. We're going to know what it is that we're, we want to kind of make stuff around what it is we want to talk about. So then I write all that stuff down. We need a device to record the stuff. I'm assuming 99.98% of you have a cell phone. So we're already pretty much covered on the actual thing to make the content, right? Then I think that we have to go out and film said things. So go out rock climbing with your buddy and get a little phone tripod off Amazon for like 20 bucks. And that kind of starts off the journey. And then, you know, obviously when you start out, you have to have this mindset. You're you're just creating for fun. Because if you're creating with this intent that I'm going to produce great content like this guy that I follow on Instagram, you're going to fall so short, so, so short. And you're going to be sad and you're not going to want to do this again. But if you create with zero expectation and you just create because like, hey, I'm trying this new thing. I'm having fun with it. You're going to have so much more fun and you will get so much farther than having this huge mountain of like, I need to get X amount of views or X amount of likes to make this a thing. Just do it because you want to do it. And I think all of the little things will start to fall into place as you continue to create. The yeah. worst thing you could do is to get all get all hyped up and then be like, okay, I'm gonna wait to make something until I get the camera or until I until you know this happens in my life. You're just setting up all these weird barriers in front of yourself to not start. Totally. The biggest thing you gotta do is start. I think you bring up some really good points. I think like one, finding people who inspire you, whose content you really enjoy consuming. Mm-hmm. And, you know, be careful of like literally copying someone but like find a few creators take a few things that you like from their style start incorporating it into your photos or videos and and i think that's kind of how you start to develop your style again don't wait for the perfect time Mm -hmm. like i was a i was i fell into that trap when i was first starting out i was like oh i can't make this because i don't have a gimbal or whatever i'll still fall into that you (laughs) brandon and chase will tell you like literally i have a mavic 2 mavic 3 came out and i was like oh great i my drone's broken because the new one came out and i can't use the mavic 2 anymore (laughs) It obviously still works, <laughs> but um, yeah, th- there's never going to be a perfect time to start. Mm-hmm. So yeah, don't, don't, don't not create because mm-hmm. you don't have like all the gear yet. Yeah. Obviously you're going to have to make a little bit of it like an investment. What's so great about the iPhones these days is that like the camera's so damn good on it that you can produce a lot of content on that. Mm-hmm. And specifically, like if you want to be a creator, like if you're just on TikTok, so much is done. It per, the content performs better on the phone. So like, if you have a phone, you're good to go. I would say like also maybe, I would say the two things that you can buy to like, or maybe two or three things that you can buy like when you're first starting out is like one, a decent mic, yeah. even if it's just for like your iPhone, yeah. having a mic, like a, a lapel mic totally. or whatever it may be, having good audio, invest in a, a light mm-hmm. and then like a tripod. Yeah. And that's kind of like all you need. Yeah, I think so too. And, and I didn't touch on this, but like an editing software, mm. Kosas and I use Premiere Pro, but Final Cut Pro also works if you have um, Apple products. If you have a Mac, that'll work on that. And then Descript is a free platform, which is cool. You got CapCut also. It's another free app. iMovie, if you have a Mac, you can use that. There's also DaVinci Resolve. It's another free platform yeah. that you can use. So it's so a lot of different things things that you can use to actually go out and create the content also real quick Mm. on like the vibe of a of a gimbal yeah the stabilization on these phones is actually crazy i was shooting for the gym uh to yesterday and we had this girl who's literally a professional track star and so we were doing like explosive movements and she had like this bungee cord on and she was like running and i was like tracking her and I was running, literally, there's like a, a runway that she was running on. I was following her and I was like, lit- I'm like shaking because I'm trying to keep up with her. Uh, and I look back at the footage, it's just like buttery smooth. It's so impressive. It's so beast. Yeah, it's crazy. There's so many cool tools that we have now that are in our yeah. arsenal to make this stuff.